Do y'all know what the word flee means? F L E E, flee. To run away, run. To run away, to run. So that's a very good this, uh, definition. It just leaves out one little part of it. It's, it's actually to run away from danger. So Webster's Dictionary describes the word flee as to escape by running away, especially because of danger or fear. It says you're escaping from a dangerous situation or a place, dangerous place, very quickly. That is the, what the word flee means. And I looked that up because I saw, I saw the word flee several times in my, in my Bible when I was reading last week. And I looked it up and that word appears 115 times in the King James Version of the Bible. 115 times. So I said, well, what does God want us to know about the word flee? Right? So what came to me is one thing is that he really wants us to know that we're not just running willy-nilly, right? When you flee, you're running away. It's always away from X, Y, Z, from something. So what, are we, what, are, what does the Bible tell us to flee from, right? In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 14, tells us to flee from idolatry. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 tells us to flee sexual immorality. We are to flee the desires of our youth. There's times in the Bible where it tells us actually to flee a place, flee the north, flee from Babylon. So there, there, there are many instances where we talk about fleeing from something. So when you're going from something, that automatically means you're going to something, right? Mm -hmm. So as we look in the Bible and say, what are we fleeing to, Lord? God tells us many times to flee to the mountains. You think about that. Why, why to the mountains? Anybody got an idea why we flee to the mountains? It's good self-reception in the mountains. If you get to the top, right? If you get to the very top, you just, that's a clear, direct path for God to God, right? So he talks about fleeing to the mountains, and this is my interpretation, right? Remember when Moses led the Egyptians, I mean, led the Israelites out of Egypt? Mm -hmm. Where did he go to, to hear from God? He, to the he went on the mountain top, right? right? Mm -hmm. Where did Jesus go when he wanted to pray? To the mountain top. He went to the mountain top, right? So there's a significance in, 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 in being on top of the mountain. There is no uh, hindrance between you and God when you get to the top. Mm -hmm. No distractions. No distractions. No roadblocks, no red lights, right? No arguments with your spouse, right? He's saying flee to the mountains. There's also, there's also scripture where that says flee towards righteousness, right? In the Bible, what's righteousness? God is righteous. Jesus is righteous. It tells us to flee towards peace, faith, and love, right? Those are all, you can find all those in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and also in 2 Timothy chapter 2. A lot of times we think uh, we, want, we, want it, we hear about standing, right? Stand your ground, stand in the battles. God's going to battle for us. He's going to battle with us, right? And don't run away from your problems because God is going to, he's with you, right? We tend, to, we tend to think of God as a superhero, like, Marvel Universe, like Captain America, right? We tend to think that he's going to come and just beat everybody up for us and, and slay the dragons for us, right? But there's times when God actually says, no, no, my child, you need to flee. Flee from that situation. And I'm going to show you where you need to go. So that's just one of the things that um, 
I, I, like I said, I just looked at because, you know, we always go through stuff. We, we always have issues. The world is, is always going to present trials and, tri and, and tests and temptations for us, right? When you, go, when you get to that point in life where you're struggling, God is saying, flee from that and come to me.